so in one of my last video i made a content i made a video about the factors you should consider before you uh, settle down for a type of irrigation how to select the best type of irrigation for your farm we are talking about factors like uh, the slope of your land the availability of the water the soil type and so many more so that video is on this channel and it will guide you for you to uh, select the best type of irrigation that will be suitable for the crop you are planting and for your farm so look out for that channel so upon that video somebody watched the video and um uh the person uh sent me a message to please make a video uh comparing and tell us the best type of uh irrigation between deep irrigation and sprinkler uh irrigation so uh this video is going to be a kind of comparison video between drip irrigation and um sprinkler irrigation so in essence if you are somebody who have been contemplating which type you should settle for this video is about to answer your question so um first and foremost uh, let us understand the concept behind each of this type of irrigation drip irrigation and sprinkler irrigation drip irrigation is a type of irrigation that aims to deliver water only at the root of each of the plant using drip tape and uh, uh, maybe drawing water from the water source and deliver water to the root base as into the base of the crop that is drip irrigation for for itself so i'm um, talking about sprinkler irrigation sprinkler irrigation is a kind of a uh, surface irrigation irrigation that uses a uh, sprinkling method whereby water will be will be sprinkled across the farm so that is that about that the picture is showing on the screen so now what differentiate them the advantage and the disadvantage of each of them is what i'll be talking about now the advantage of drip irrigation system is that over sprinkler irrigation system is that it tends to uh, conserve water you don't there is no room for wastage of water when you are using drip irrigation drip irrigation conserve water because it delivers water to exactly where it is needed that is number one advantage you you don't you don't end up wasting too much water because water is becoming a scarce resources globally now that is number one the number two advantage of drip irrigation is that uh you do away by by feeding or by irrigating places where you are not growing your crop you know definitely you will not have the whole feed filled up with crop so uh and it helps it helps and it helps in the control of wheat because you are only delivering water to where it is needed the other places where uh water uh, where your crops are not being grown on the farm you are not delivering water there and that is why it is the best type of uh, uh irrigation you can use especially when you are doing plantation of tree crop if you are into oil palm coconut plantain and you want to do irrigation drip irrigation is the best for you because of the wide spacing among the crops that is another thing and it also tends to reduce water loss by evapotranspiration or evaporation so by by way of doing water in a sprinkler way some of the water will be lost in the atmosphere in that process and lastly but not the least the advantage of uh, drip irrigation over uh, sprinkler irrigation systems are research has shown that research has shown that sprinkling water on the body of the of the plant tends to promote fungal diseases on the farm and it also tends to promote the spread of fungal diseases on the farm when water stay too long too long on the body of the plant it tends to promote fungal diseases so ir drip irrigation avoid this kind of problem the only disadvantage the only disadvantage for drip irrigation system is that it is not economically viable when you are doing a, la a very large expanse of land you have is very very labor intensive and uh, very very labor intensive and it sometimes impede the movement of machinery you have to be very very extra careful so if you are doing a very very large expanse of land you are farming an estate it's not it doesn't make economic sense because it's very very expensive laying pipe across a uh, 50 hectares of land is expensive and 
it's just expensive that is the only bad uh, side of it and it comes with some kind of a uh, maintenance co higher maintenance cost when compared with a uh, with a uh, sprinkler irrigation and also the installation is also expensive so talking about uh, sprinkler irrigation the advantage of sprinkler irrigation itself is that it covers a wide area of land like on an on on an acre of land if you want to set up a sprinkler sprinkler irrigation system on a, on an acre on an acre of land you might just you you, you might just be needing to install a uh, sprinkler on just like five spots scattered five spots that will, that will that will cover the whole plant because one sprinkler will cover a wide area of land around it another sprinkler will cover a wide land around it so that is why the installation is not that as tedious and expensive with that of uh with that of uh drip irrigation but it comes with because the water will be sprinkling like this it comes with a kind of water loss through evaporation and also you end up uh irrigating uh, other parts of the land that your crops are not uh, growing and you end up having a weed emergence you have to be managing a whole lot of weed because it's pre it sprinkled the water and every part of the land will get the water and you have uh, weed growing up and down that is the disadvantage uh, of it another disadvantage of it is the issue of the fungal disease that research has shown that water staying too long on water on plant body uh, promote fungal diseases and it has been also been shown that where plants need water the most is at the rooting system where the drip irrigation uh, tends to deliver water but in a case whereby you are doing uh you you are you, you are growing uh, a cover crop sprinkler irrigation might be the best alternative for you or maybe in the place whereby you are growing rice crops that are packed together that doesn't have a very very wide spacing so it can be adaptable in that kind of a situation so uh with this i think i think you've gotten uh, some value uh that will guide you in your choice of picking the one that will be best for your farming uh for your farming uh, venture with this i've come to the end of today's topic and i hope you've gotten value one way or the other i hope you have been able to convince you and not to convince you the more so uh in case you are watching for the first time my name is Lawa Lusha Lawa. i'm a farmer by training by practice and by education and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture in case you are watching for the first time kindly click on subscribe button to have access to more of our content and click the like button for people other people to also have access to content like this thank you for your time and see you on the next one Sheshe.